Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to your After Action Report for Week 3 of College Cod 2021. Starting off the week, the South Dakota State Jackrabbits went up against the Missouri State Bearcats. The Bearcats seemed to finally find their footing in this match, taking the 3-0 win and finally putting up their first match win of the season. Illini Blue won in a Game 5 against SIUE Black, and although ILB took both hard points pretty convincingly, SIUE at least kept it competitive with a 6-4 win in Moscow S&D and a 3-2 win in break control. Oregon Green put on an absolute show against the Arizona Wildcats in their match last week. The Wildcats kept the checkmate hard point pretty close, but Oregon was ridiculously dominant in the S&D in control. Seriously, these guys are disgusting. The University of Utah's Crimson Gaming has struggled to say the least so far this season, only winning a single map thus far. And that streak unfortunately continued here as they dropped in a decisive 3-0 against CSULB Gold. The University of Wyoming Esports took on the CSU Rams in a dominant 3-0 that ended up being Wyoming's first win for the season. On the other side though, the Rams are yet another team that have been struggling so far this season only winning a single map as of right now. Day 2 started off with the RU Black Squad taking on the CU Ravens in what ended up being one of the biggest and nuttiest four-game series in College Cod history. The Ravens ended up taking the series 3-1, and 47 went on an absolute tear in the Garrison Hardpoint. He ended the game with more kills than his namesake at 49. He was 29-9 after the first rotation of Hills. I, I mean, like, what? But how does that happen? Following on Alpha, the University of Central Florida's E4 Knights went up against FSU Garnet. Both these teams had close records going into this match and showcased it very well here, with the match going back and forth all the way to a Game 5, Round 11, where the Knights showed off their S&D prowess to take the series win. Both SIUE Red and Illini Orange were undefeated going into their match, but Illini was the team that came out on top. Mostly, I'd say, with the help of their skills at Hardpoint. In fact, at this point in the season, they are still undefeated in the game mode. Butler Esports started off the season with an 0-3 loss, but it seems like they've picked up steam and have not looked back since, as they took a convincing 3-0 win against the Shawnee State Blue, even finishing the Crossroads Hardpoint 250-69. Utica Esports went up against the BSCA Bobcats in what I would call one of the most dominant matches I have ever seen in the CCL. A 250-95 win in a Crossroads Hardpoint, a 6-0 win in Garrison S&D, and a 3-0 in Checkmate Control. Honestly, thinking about it again, maybe dominant was too light of a word. The University of Hartford went up against Sacred Heart University in what would end up being a very dominant 3-0 showing from SHU. They've struggled in the first two weeks pretty hard, but they've managed to pull their first wins this week. Let's call this a turning point, yeah? And guys, that is going to do it for this week's After Action Report. As always, the current standings in the league are going to be popping up on your screen right now. And if you want more detailed stats, as always, go to collegecod.com. Keep up with us on our Twitter, at CollegeCod, and don't forget to tune in Mondays and Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern to twitch.tv slash collegecod. Once again, I'm Spyro, and this has been your After Action Report.